Today is the perfect day for mischief, I believe. <laughs> oh, perfect day for mischief. Hello, TTG fans, and welcome back to episode 10 of the update SMP. And you might be wondering, Train Trent, what are we going to do today to get into the spooky Halloween season? Which, personally, I like Halloween, but I don't like trick-or-treating. You might be saying, Train Trent, oh, you just, you think you're too old for it. No, I've never liked trick-or-treating. I've never liked it, but I do like, I do like, like, the atmosphere of Halloween, I guess you could say. Even though I hate scary movies. I know. I'm a weird person like that. But... I think a few of you may remember that a while ago, I said that there will be prankage in episode 10, and I am going to deliver on that, but in a bit of a different way than you expect I would. You might be thinking, Trent, how are you going to prank people in a different way than you might expect I would? Well, it's a bit complicated, because I am not going to be doing the prankage, really. People are gonna do it to themselves. Well, I guess other people on the SMP, but I think you might get the idea in just one moment. Because my idea is that they are going to go to a Halloween pumpkin style build and they are going to press a button, right? And that button is gonna give them a name, a name of someone on the SMP, and then they're going to press a second button where they are then going to get away. They have to prank that person in. Or, I guess more likely, kill, I'd like to see. But they don't have to kill them because killing is a bit dark. So, I just want to see some prankage around the SMP. So, yeah, I think it's going to be interesting how we do it. But for that to happen, we must build. Oh, like, I guess a pumpkin design first. Which I'm missing, train train. This is a lot of materials. It is! And that's why we're going to do this all in the time lapse. Let's begin.
again. Okay, everybody. This is the finished project for the minigame called Just Tricks. I think it looks- oh, hello, Metric. I think it looks pretty cool. If you don't know what it's meant to be, it's meant to be a trick-or-treat bucket. I think it looks pretty snizzy, except for this tree. This tree right here does not look good. I, I'm not that good at natural projects. But yeah, the name of this game is called Just Tricks. I would explain it to you, but I'm going to go ahead and read off this off of this lectern here because it explains everything you need to know. Welcome to Just Tricks. Uh, trick or treat? Did you pick treat? Because if you did, I'm sorry. Because in this game, there will only be tricks. You will be selected a random member on the SMP. Your goal is to prank them. Would be cool for you if they, uh, if the prank did involve murdering them. But you know, it doesn't have to. It does not have to. Um, but there's a catch. You will also be given a randomly selected theme for that prank: Happy Halloween and Happy Pranking. So yeah, it's pretty much that. I think it's a fun little mini game. It's not really a mini game because it's gonna take time to. Uh, get the resources to paint them, but I think I'm going to go ahead. It looks like metric is reading the thing But yeah, I'm excited. What am I gonna get? I don't know. So what's gonna be my theme? Zombie Okay, okay Draven That is my th that is my theme and the person I'm going to be pranking is Draven and the theme for that prank is gonna be zombie so I'm quite excited for that. I don't know how I'm gonna prank him that involves a zombie, but we'll find a way, chat. Okay, everybody, I have finished the prank on Draven. I know I did it very fast, you know, for you guys. I just decided to get it all done with. And yeah, here is the prank. I, th You might th be thinking, Trent, what in the name is this? I have no clue what this is meant to be. It is meant to be a zombie hand reaching out of the grave. I know it does not look like that, but um, it, he, we have Rip Draven, so he knows it's meant to be himself, you know, and it's like have a present, you know, it's like when he opens up the shulker, you know, when he actually destroys the shulker box, the shulker box, it will unleash a bunch of zombies from uh, right here, right here, there would be a bunch of zombies swarming here. You might be thinking, oh, there's nothing, you know, wait, why is that? Why is there an observer down there? But bam, bunch of zombies come out of here. You might be think thinking, train Trent, how the heck does that look? Let me show you. All right, and here the redstone is. So you might be thinking, what is this? <laughs> what is this mess? <laughs> and do you know what? I, I'm questioning the same question here because what is this? I don't know what this is. So pretty much what we have here is you have the observer facing the skulker box. And when he breaks that, that skulker box, it will send a redstone single down here into this piston, which will then knock out this redstone torch, which will then turn off this redstone single into the piston, which then will retract the, the dirt block into here, which then will allow the bullet col column which then allow the zombies to go up into the ball into the into the sky into the upper world. But before that, this has to dispense a, a I don't know what to call it, like a diorite block, a diorite block down into there. Because right there I have a a pressure a wooden pressure plate which can detect blocks and well, not blocks but like t um, entities and stuff like that. Which will then dispense water onto soul stand which will then lift up zombies into another bulk into this bulk bu bubble column right here so yeah it's a bit of a strange prank i know but i mean like weird redstone i know it's a very weird way of doing redstone but i don't know how redstone works at all and especially on better condition where it makes absolutely no sense to me so yeah that, that is my prank that is my redstone hopefully it works yeah because like there's a bunch of zombies uh, right here i believe like directly below this block there's a bunch of zombies hopefully the prank goes well
But sadly, that is the end of today's video. Hopefully, you all did enjoy it. And it's perfect timing because it's nighttime and the moon is rising. But yeah, hopefully, you all did enjoy the video. And without further ado, I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.